substance painter have capability of using fonts and text. However, these are quite different from other applications. On the other hand, there are some tools like Clone Tool, Smudge Tool, which are similar to other applications like Photoshop. So let's see these in detail inside Substance Painter in Lesson 18. What did you do that for? I was checking if I can smudge your face. <laughs> Let's see how we can use text in lesson 18 and also uh, we'll go through a bit about the clone tool and the smudge tool. There, there is not too much when it comes uh, to basically uh, text or fonts or those kind of things. So let's see how we can do that. First of all, uh, we will do the test uh, here and I want you to be on the middle casing and then you can add some uh, text, uh, you know, below. But who looks below? Let's go here uh, at this side. Okay. So we'll add some text over here. So all I will do here is that I will go and make a new regular layer over here. And I will write here uh, made information. Okay, so uh, once you have this made info, what we can do here is that we can uh, choose our brush here. Basic hard brush is there, which is fine. Okay, let me close this uh, option here. Sorry, filter here so I can see all the brushes. I don't want all the brushes. So what I will do here is that I will go to my alpha. And inside the helper, I can type here fonts. And you can see there are a lot of fonts here. Let me make it a little bigger so you can see. There are kind of a lot of fonts, not a lot, uh, but a good number of fonts here. Okay. These are font and these are pre made text, which I don't want to work on. I want to work on the fonts. So I have here font Almendra. I have here font black ops, I have here font Jura, and let the list goes not on but just few. So it's not too much uh, that we can do with the fonts inside Substance Painter. So I will choose a very basic font, like maybe this one, font Jura, and I will drag this to the alpha, okay, uh, of the brush. So I will go to the oh, where is alpha, here is the alpha, I will go here. Take this font Jura, drag this in the alpha. So as soon as I will drop this in the, you know, here in the alpha, I can start uh, imprinting or stamping the font here. Let me make the font or the brush size bigger. Okay. So I can click here and here you go. Let me undo it. Why? So that you can first see some options here. Now here, as soon as you will put the alpha, you will get some parameters. You will see you can make your own text. So maybe I can write here, made in uh, Japan. Okay. Uh, and then you have here regular, bold, whatever you want. I will make it bold. Size of the font, I think. Uh, let me make it a little smaller so it will fit inside the brush now it's fine now i can change the brush size okay or uh, let me increase this let's see uh increasing yes good yep now i will change this now it's better okay i alignment center position okay i think position is fine i don't want to change the position flip on and off this is flip and this is not flip okay advanced blending Stamp blending, you can choose light and maximum. Okay, suppose if I will choose this, it will something create just like this. Not so visible, but you know, uh, it will look like it is being printed with a ink or something over here. So what I will do here is that I will increase the size a little bit more. Oops, not too much. That's fine. And the brush size a little smaller because the maiden. Uh, text is basically 
not that visible or let me do one thing let me type here in all capitals that will be more much more, more cooler okay so i will type here made in japan and i will go here and i will stamp this one okay once i will do that it's good to go uh i can reduce opacity a little bit uh okay or well, why am i in normal i have to be in basic okay so in the basic uh, channel, I will reduce it a little bit of opacity so it can have it can be a little lighter. Now it's fine. Okay. So like we have here made in Japan text over here. It's quite bigger. This is uh, bigger than as usual. Let me do one thing. Let me make this way more smaller because the made in value is not that big. Okay. Now yeah now it's better okay now i can change the opacity to something like uh, maybe 50 yeah so it's now it looks uh pretty much good so yeah we have a made in japan television okay uh that's cool okay so this is how you can get uh you know the fonts you can change the fonts and you can put but there is not a lot of options here to do that now let's see how we can uh use the clone brush tool to use the clone brush tool, you have this clone brush over here. You just have to click over here. But before doing that, let me do one thing. I, do, I just uh, I don't want to keep things, uh, you know, as it is. So I will just go to my hard brush and I will remove this alpha. I want this to keep uh, as like you know regular. Okay, so I will bring it back. So I have my brush because anytime if I need it, I can actually I, I will get it otherwise what will happen i have to redo in the important times so that's why i want to reset everything once i'm done so now how to work on the clone brush tool so this is our clone brush tool if in photoshop uh, you have worked on clone brush tool it's the same thing over here what it do is that what it actually do is that it takes a part of your target and it can uh, you know uh, like you can paint that anywhere so what in this case what we will do we will take some uh, part from the made in japan okay and we will paste over here so to click on the target to select the target first of all uh, let me do one thing let me make this brush size smaller now to uh, select our target what we have to do is that we have to press v on our keyboard so v for victory so make sure uh, like in this case i'm in the made in full layer I will press V on my keyboard and I will click on this Made in Japan text. As soon as I will click it here, okay. Oops, I have to click over here first. I have to take my uh, clone tool, then I have to do that. So once I will take, uh, once you will take your clone tool, then you can press V on your keyboard, V for victory, and then you can press here on this Made in Japan uh, part. Okay, now you can see that you have this uh, light target over here so now if i'll go anywhere and start painting you will see that it's taking the part from there and i'm able to paint okay so this is how the paint uh the clone tool will help you to paint okay so uh you can see the quality is not that good because of a uh, few of the settings i didn't change before doing that and plus uh i am on the 50 percent of opacity here so that's one reason but don't worry about that that's how we can uh, we can uh, like you know clone this so usually if you want to clone that then that's the way uh, like that's the way you do it so let me undo it because i don't want it other thing we have here is the smudge tool just like in photoshop you can smudge something so if i will make it smaller and start smudging this made info okay like here you can see that it's smudging like uh, something happened wrong to it so it will look like this but I don't want that I will undo it okay but it's kind of a cool effect you know I guess somebody torn the paint or something like that so this is how you can use the smudge tool uh, it's just used uh, sub, uh, like most of, uh, like sometimes if you if you have uh, any case which where you can drop this uh, like this kind of effect okay so guys I hope you have understood about now the text tool how to use the text inside the substance painter if you want to create your own fonts or if you want to create your own uh like uh you know cloning and you want to do the smudging so 
please if you like the video so please click on the like button if you have any question leave it in the comment section and don't forget to click on the bell icon and subscribe to my channel right away if you have not subscribed keep supporting me i like when you support me and this will encourage me to create more content for you guys so take care and we'll see you in the next lesson Thank you.